The human race has always had one eye on the future. The technology we have now might be incredible, but it's never enough. We're impatient for faster internet, self-driving cars, and other inventions that will make our lives easier. Hopefully, someone will eventually invent robots so good that none of us will have to go to work anymore. Until then, check out these incredible emerging technologies. They might look far-fetched, but every single one of them is either available right now or coming very soon. Back in the 1980s, everyone expected that virtual reality would have become the most popular form of entertainment by the 21st century. Things haven't quite worked out that way. Nobody's been able to create a genuinely popular version of virtual reality entertainment. And so now Microsoft is currently trying to do the next best thing with the HoloLens, a thick pair of glasses that they say gives the wearer a mixed reality experience. With mixed reality, elements of the real world are mixed with computer graphics to create something new. You might also have heard it referred to as augmented reality. In basic terms, it gives you an experience similar to the one you get when you're playing Pokemon Go. Only you don't have to look through the screen of your phone to see the Pokemon. Microsoft hopes that their creation will be used for more than just gaming, though. They've signed a contract with the US military to adopt it for combat purposes. Most people would agree that touchscreen phones and tablets are more convenient than phones or tablets with buttons on them. With a touchscreen, you have more space to use as a display, and typing often becomes easier. There's one demographic that wouldn't agree with that assessment, though, and that's blind people. A blind person can use a tablet or phone with buttons easily. With a touchscreen, they're lost. Or at least, they have been until now. We have no idea why this has taken so long. This is the Blit Tab. It's a smooth, modern-looking tablet that runs on the latest version of Android, but has braille markings on the surface. Better still, it has a button on the side that turns the upper portion of the device into a braille reader, allowing the user to load a document and then read it in braille on the top half of the screen. The tablet automatically translates all the text. The development of the product began in 2014, and it was expected to launch commercially in early 2019. It's now overdue, but we believe it's still happening. We live in a world that doesn't have enough doctors to serve all of the people. Most people watching this will have experienced difficulties in getting a doctor's appointment in the past. A lot of the time, the people ahead of you in the queue to see the doctor just want something basic checked out. In the future, those basic checks might happen at home, thanks to inventions like Tito Home. The all-in-one modular medical device made by Tito Care made Time Magazine's top 100 products of the year list for 2019. Simply put, Tito Home is a device that you can hold in your hand that's capable of monitoring the condition of your skin, throat, ears, lungs, and heart via a series of attachments. It can also take your temperature. That means it can conduct basic medical assessments and determine whether you have a problem or not. If you don't, there's no need to go to a doctor. If you do, it will send the report directly to your doctor for you and speed things up. You've probably seen photo shoots where models use spray paint to create the illusion that they're wearing clothes when, in reality, they're naked apart from the paint. What you're about to see next is a little similar to that but less revealing. This is spray-on fabric, the latest invention from a company called Fabrican. It does exactly what you expect it to do. Point the can at your body, spray it, and it will apply fabric directly to your skin. You can instantly become a tailor and a fashion designer. The technology was developed at the Imperial College in London and then optioned by Fabrican for commercial use. If you're careful when you peel your sprayed-on clothes off, you can even keep them and wear them again if you like them. Inside the can is a combination of short fibers and polymers, along with a solvent that keeps the combination liquid while it's inside the can. As well as being a potential future fashion product, Fabrican hopes that their product might be used by doctors to apply bandages to a wound without causing a patient distress by touching it. We all know the universal symbol for call me, it's the one you make by lifting your hand to the side of your face with your thumb by your ear and your pinky by your mouth. In the near future, making that gesture might be all you need to do in order to answer the phone. 
thanks to the invention of BCK's color rings. The idea is simple. In one ring is a microphone, and in the other is a speaker. Both rings are connected to your phone via Bluetooth. When someone calls you, all you need to do is put the rings into the correct position, and you can speak to whoever's calling without touching your phone at all. The technology is already available, but BCK hasn't had much luck selling it because the rings are seen as unfashionable. They've been more successful when packaging the technology inside gloves as opposed to rings. So if you see someone walking around talking to their glove, they're not necessarily crazy. Prosthetic hands have been around for hundreds of years, but they've always had limitations. A basic prosthetic might enable someone without a hand to be able to pick up a cup, for example, but they wouldn't be able to do anything so precise as typing or tying their shoelaces. All that might be about to change thanks to the latest innovations from a Swedish company called Integrum AB, led by Dr. Max Ortiz Catalan. They've just created a prosthetic hand for a female Swedish patient, and the hand has been described as dexterous and sentient. It takes its instructions from electrodes implanted in the patient's muscles and bones. Coupled with an osseo-neuromuscular implant that's the first of its kind in the world, sensors in the hand allow the patient to feel an object as it's touched, meaning they can perceive whether it's hot or cold and how tight or weak their grip is. This has never previously been possible. The technology is being refined all the time. But Integrum's eventual intention is that patients will be able to take their devices home with them and use them in everyday life. Bluetooth and wireless technology mean that we can connect devices together even if they aren't in the same room and weren't manufactured by the same company. That, in turn, has made technology like the Bixi multipurpose sensor possible. With Bixi, you can group devices together and activate, deactivate, or otherwise interact with them with a simple gesture from the other side of the room. You could have one in the bedroom for those days when you just don't want to get out of bed yet. You could have one in the kitchen for when both your hands are full cooking but you really need to open the recipe again. Bixi can work with phones, tablets, cameras, and just about any other smart technology. It also works with apps like Spotify and YouTube to pause, play, or skip. The technology has been adapted a little since it was first designed because smart speakers have stolen some of its thunder, but it's still capable of several things that a smart speaker isn't. It could potentially even replace every remote control in your home. All of us know someone who's never quite comfortable with the temperature. They're either too cold or too hot. Perhaps that person is you. If you're the sort of person who's forever adding layers of clothing or removing them to get warmer or colder, the Polar Seal is probably for you. It's an idea so basic that we can't believe it took until 2017 for someone to come up with it. Polar Seal clothes work to the same principle as electric blankets. They contain thin heating pads that activate when you push a button on the sleeve and heat up to your desired temperature. They occasionally need charging, but a simple 45-minute charge once a week should be enough to keep them running. Polar Seal clothes were originally designed specifically for people who go walking, hiking, or running in winter, but they've since become popular with just about anybody who likes to stay warm. Robot vacuum cleaners are nothing new, but the Unibot is. This creation, which comes from Evovax Robotics, offers you far more help around the home than just sucking up crumbs from the carpet. It's also a dehumidifier and an air purifying fan. Those are all useful features, but the Unibot can perform home security duties too. It has sensors capable of detecting smoke and alerting you immediately by sending a message to your smartphone, and can also be set to detect movement if you're at work and nobody's supposed to be at home. When it isn't monitoring your home, cleaning your air, or vacuuming for you, the Unibot is happy to function as a personal assistant. It can raise or dim the lights, switch off electronic appliances when they're not in use, even remind you of important calendar dates. This is a home help robot that does everything apart from the cooking. Maybe that will come with the next model. Getting stuck in traffic when you're in a taxi is annoying. 
Not only will it take you longer to get to your intended destination, but you're also paying for the privilege of sitting around and waiting. That wouldn't be a problem if the Volocopter was already in service. These mini helicopters may one day replace taxis in the United States of America, and they've already been successfully tested. The VC-200 Volocopter technically isn't a helicopter at all. It would be more accurate to call it a gigantic drone that's big enough for a person to fit inside. For now, anyone who used the service would be doing so for a short trip only. Its maximum range is around 17 miles between each charge, or a flight time of 30 minutes at most. Aside from America, Dubai has shown enormous interest in the capabilities of the Volocopter and may even go live, offering the service to commuters and passengers there as early as mid-2020. We may not have mastered the whole idea of flying cars yet, but if Volocopter is telling us the truth, flying taxis might be just around the corner. As a company, L'Oreal is more associated with beauty and aesthetics than they are with anything to do with technology. But apparently, they're breaking into the market now, and they've picked a pretty impressive product to do it with. It's a tiny UV sensor, so small that it can be stuck almost invisibly onto your fingernail. The sensor pairs with an app on your phone and doesn't even require a battery to run. Known as UV Sense, the product has been designed for one job only, monitoring and measuring UV exposure. That means it can tell you when you've been in the sun for too long, and also whether you've damaged or are at risk of damaging your skin. When you go to the app to check your UV levels, you'll also be given useful information about pollen and air pollution levels in your immediate area, as well as advice on which L'Oreal products to buy in order to stave off the threat that's coming from all the UV light. Well, there had to be something in it for the company somewhere. You probably never thought you needed a smart toilet. You still might not after you hear about this invention, but you'll have to concede that it sounds pretty cool. The Kohler Numi 2.0 is a toilet that comes with smart lighting, surround sound speakers, and a voice-activated smart assistant who can warm the seat for you if you so desire. Even the kings and queens of Europe didn't have it this good when they used the toilet. Aside from the non-toilet-related services, the Kohler product also comes with a few practical applications, such as the ability to open or close the lid without touching it, and automatically deodorizing itself and the room around it. The toilet has LED lighting and can change color, although that's an ability designed to help it set a mood for the bath or the shower, rather than anything to do with using the toilet. Additional luxuries include a heated footrest, a full integration with Amazon's Alexa service if so desired. We suppose that gives you someone to chat with if you're in the toilet for a while. There is a catch to all this, though. The Kohler Numi is packed with so much technology that it costs $7,000 for a single unit. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!